Hi friends, this is C.A. Rampavan Kumar. In this video, let us discuss about what is the saleable area in case of an apartment. In case of an apartment, every area is common except its usage. The usage may be exclusive or common. Every builder tries to enhance his sale value or sale consideration. On the other hand, every buyer tries to minimize his investment cost in a flat. This is the game. This is the game between the buyer and the seller. So there is RERA law which plays a pivotal role. The buyer always tries to get a better trade-off between what he pays and what he gets. Post RERA, the law ensures greater transparency. The builder must specify what he is selling to the buyer of a flat what is the carpet area what is the undivided share of land what is the garage area what is the exclusive balcony area what is the common area so there is greater level of transparency recently i visited my friend's home he said he is living in a 3000 square feet apartment so when i see when i observed his home i felt only 1500 sft or carpet area or plinth area but where lies the difference the difference 1500 sft goes to the common area these days the common areas are huge conference halls children play area gym swimming pool greater size lobbies corridors staircases lift areas so the common areas are huge but on the other hand, the buyer of the flat tries to enhance his exclusive use. Without the exclusive use, there is no fun in buying a flat or paying more and more amount to the builder of the flat. So it's a trade-off. We have to ensure the greater proportion of purchasing exclusive area. Now, without much further ado, let us come back to our main topic, what is saleable area in case of an apartment. The saleable areas are undivided share of land, carpet area, garage area, exclusive balcony areas, exclusive veranda areas, exclusive open terraces, and also common areas such as outer walls, that means external walls, duct areas, service shops, common areas such as lift area, staircases, lobby areas and corridors. So what is the use of RERA law when the builder is selling all these common areas to a buyer of a flat? The RERA law ensures only the transparency, the transparency of a transaction between the buyer and the seller of the flat. See, remember one more thing, in case of the sellable area, the area must be precisely calculated. What I mean here, whatever the area apportioned to a particular flat, that should be very precise and proportionate. It should not be any arbitrary figure. Then what is registrable in the name of LOT or buyer of a flat? RERA law vaguely specifies, not without certainty, what is registrable in the name of LOT and what has to be registered in the name of the association of LOTs. Undivided share of land, carpet area, exclusive balcony area, exclusive open terraces, exclusive verandas, garages are to be registered in the name of the LOTs or buyers of a flat. What is garage? Garage, garage means having a roof and enclosed by three side, enclosed by a wall on three sides, one for entry and exit of the vehicle. These days, basement, cellar, and even steel floor are considering as garages. And in case of open parking, that is a common area. So, 
all the common areas are to be registered in the name of the association of LRTs and the exclusive areas such as undivided share of land, corporate area, exclusive balcony area, exclusive veranda area, exclusive open terrace area and garages must be registered in the name of LRT. Thank you friends. Thank you for your kind patience. Thank you.